Alrighty, so Dokkan dropped a bit of a bomb on us a few hours ago. Uh, I figured we'd kind of let the initial hype die down. Maybe I'm doing this YouTube thing wrong, but uh, I wanted to talk about how Tech Gohan's EZA could potentially be an absolute game changer. You know, recently we dropped a video talking about super EZAs that could potentially be super busted, but uh, this is one of these units that I thought, honestly, Dokkan might have been afraid to drop. And I know that sounds crazy to say, but I think, or not even to, e to drop, but to easy A, right? Because this is a character who essentially kind of changed the way that the uh, mechanic has been done, right? And that I'm sure as you know at this point, especially if you're more of a veteran player, that the uh, the guard mechanic has been something that Dokkan has been petrified of giving unconditionally, right? Because that's always been something that's been super overpowered. And this tech Gohan, um, Essentially, the way he worked was he just aged out a lot of units uh, around the same time that he came out. And 2020 sort of uh, served to be, what's the word, right? A year where we had really impressive TURs for a bit of a stretch. And then we kind of went back to like 2021. The power creep was not as aggressive with these TURs. And I think that they kind of messed up with this tech ultimate Gohan because of the way that he has unconditional guard, right? So like you think about other units these days, like I, 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 I could pull up all these examples, but like. Let's, let's look at a unit like Trunks and Vegeta, right? After, I believe, it's five turns, you lose that guard and, and you can only have it in slot one, right? Or it'll be like an HP threshold for guard. Or it'll be like you have to have a certain amount of teams on the units of a certain category on the team for guard, right? And that is something that this Tech Ultimate Gohan kind of ushered in this era where, like, unconditional guard was too overpowered. And honestly, I thought that they uh, might have been a little bit scared to sort of give this guy an easy A. So... Uh, let's go ahead and break down what this Gohan is doing in case you guys are a little bit out of the loop so we're all on the same page. Now, uh, this Gohan is now a 170 across the board for Saviors or Hybrid Saiyans with Key 3, which is just an okay leader skill. Obviously not designed to be a leader considering he's a 170 and, you know, 200% is kind of the, the meta now in terms of leader skills. And then the 12 key SA effect, obviously the a TUR, he only has a 12 key SA effect. And he's going to be greatly raising attack and defense with the stacking and causes immense damage to the enemy and lowers attack. So... Lowering attack, obviously very good. A lot of these ninth anniversary uh, bosses hit really hard, so they can be debuffed. So that's going to be super helpful, considering he's going to be greatly raising his attack and defense. So you guys don't know, that, that is a 50% raise with the greatly raises attack and defense. So that is going to be good. Now, if we go down to the passive skill, we have key plus three and attack and defense plus 158% at the start of turn. We have defense plus 58% and reduces damage received by 30% for one turn from the first appearance. So that first turn that they show up, he's going to be getting the... Uh, damage reduction on top of the guard, which is a very, very overpowered defensive mechanic. We have performs an additional attack, which has a great chance to become a super attack. And then we are going to be forming another additional attack, which has another great chance to become a super attack, starting from the turn in which his character performs three or more attacks in battle, which is essentially going to be after his first appearance, maybe his second appearance. So we're going to be getting a lot of additionals with this guy. And then you can see the moneymaker right here, guards all attacks. So no, no funny business. He's just always going to have guard, which is obviously going to be very good. Now, Attack plus 58% within the same turn and plus an additional attack plus 58% for three turns when guard is activated. Uh, guard is always going to be activated, so we're always going to be having this additional attack plus 58% after he takes that first hit with the guard being activated and then attack plus 58% within that same turn. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of 58% for attack and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and move on. And then we have ultimate Gohan. Now... One thing I think it is worth noting with this uh, unit is I feel like there's never going to be a reason to transform him because you're not going you're going to be losing that that great stacking right. So we have the leader skill saviors or hybrid saiyans category key. I don't even know why I read that. Uh, the 12 key super attack effects we have greatly raises attack and defense for three turns, causes immense damage uh, with a great chance of stunning the enemy. Obviously in a fight like Cell Max where you can stun after turn four, that's very good. But let's go ahead and move on to the passive skill where we're getting key three and then attack and defense plus 258 percent at the start of turn with guards against all attack performing an additional super attack guaranteed so we're always going to be getting two supers at the very least and then plus an additional attack plus 58 percent for the rest of the battle and a fact attacks effective against all types within the same turn when guard is activated so when he takes that hit performs a critical hit when facing only one enemy whose hp is 50 percent or more or when there's a majin buu saga category enemy think about a stage like agl uh red zone super buu gohan Super Buu is going to be Gohan's bitch. That, that's what I'm trying to get at, right? Because he's going to be getting uh, guaranteed crits when there's a Majin Buu Saga category Adam Mini when he is in this ultimate Gohan mode. Considering whatever stacking he's going to be doing, uh, it's going to be pretty impressive. So that is kind of what we have with this Gohan. Uh, I needed to do a breakdown before I kind of got into the underlying point. I uh, figured we'd at least talk about that, right? So let's go ahead and move over to Dokkan Info. And obviously it's not translated yet, but what's so important about this character to me, and I'm sure to a lot of you, is the teams that he is on so 
let's go ahead and look. There's one L right off the bat about this character, and I'm sure that some of you might be able to point it out just by looking. But uh, he is on, he is missing some certain categories. What that might be, what that may be, you may be asking. Superheroes, Miraculous Awakening, Bond to Master and Disciple. And what is that? That is Beast Gohan's leader skill. So one problem with this guy right off the bat, which this is about the only negative, he is not on Beast Gohan's leader skill. But there's so many teams that he is buffing that absolutely need the buffs. We can just go ahead and pull these up and talk about them, right? Saviors. The newest unit on this team is Namek Goku, for crying out loud. Like, well, like LRs. Like, the newest LR is Namek Goku, and then the newest TUR is this guy. <laughs> Yajirobe, before Super Trunks, Yajirobe was, like, the latest summonable unit on this category, right? So, end of 2020, early 2021, mid-2021, late 2021, uh, late 2021, <laughs> late 2021, free-to-plays all right here with EZAs, late 2022, mid-2023, you know, you get the idea. This category does not get buffed very often. And one thing that's funny about this specific category is this is one of the hardest extreme Super Battle Road stages in the game, and so now this guy being on the team, having two of them, might just make it free. So, that is good for a lot of players. If you are struggling with the Saviors ESBR stage, we now have that. Hybrid Saiyans, we don't need to go over that team. Resurrected Warriors is going to be getting a buff. This category is actually uh, like half decent, if I'm not mistaken. It's just okay. It's not great. But we have Harutagarn, Fat Boo, the new Super Saiyan 3 Goku. We have Gohan on it, wherever he's at. Um, I just had him and I lost him. Uh, Gohan is down here. And then we have some other potential EZAs. Maybe these two will EZA at some point. Uh, that'll be a good uh, kind of shout there. We have Mr. Boo, who's very good. Uh, this Tech Exchange Boo, who's cracked. Like, all of a sudden, this team is starting to have a little bit of a foundation. The only thing it's really missing is that true leader, but I guess you'd call that Harutagarn. But uh, we all know how Harutagarn is. I don't know if running two of him is really going to be the move. Uh, obviously, Boo Saga is going to get better. The Boo, the, the Goku family just continues to run away with how many good uh, units they have. Siblings Bond, obviously going to be getting better if we kind of open these up right here. Siblings Bond is also one of those teams that doesn't get the most buffs in the world, but like, you know, Beast Gohan's on this, Beastless Gohan's on this, Evolution Blue Vegeta. You have a lot of good units on this team, but it's kind of hard to mesh them together and not just run them on a better team. But I guess it is at least worth noting that this team is going to be getting buffed, and for like a Super Battle Road stage, that could also potentially be good. Uh, Re Revenge is going to be uh, getting a big buff. Rapid Growth's going to be getting a big bump. Uh, I believe this is Powerful Comeback right here. Uh, Ally of Justice, this team's obviously needs some buffs as well. Uh, it's going to be very good help for Videl whenever she gets her EZA. Entrusted will another like whatever team but if maybe if you're struggling on like that uh that what is what is that stage called it's the divine wrath and mortal will mission maybe you can look into that bond to parent and child i'm sure you guys know at this point how that team is earthbred fighters and power of wishes all of these teams are going to be getting extremely extremely helped by this unit right because if we look at some of the linking partners that this guy has um not very many good linking partners right like you look right here like that's not good three links and i believe cold judgment's going to be like one of those big ones where it's like you look at the links that he's sharing with uh piccolo it, it's not great it's just brainiacs power bestowed by god and fierce battle but his link set is not what makes him good you know a lot of people complained about how this guy's link set was back in the day but i don't really think that matters um i think this guy is just cracked out as is so there we go. Uh, Tech Gohan is getting his EZA. I can't believe that this is actually happening. I thought, honestly, they were just going to skip this guy because they were scared of him. But uh, before we head on out, let's go ahead and do our member shout outs, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alrighty, so we have a new member. Uh, special shout out to James. This was gifted by our good friend Plastic. Uh, shout out to Macker, Static, YT Steve, Anto, Towelettes, Blitz, Wanix, Joao, Shaft of the Boss, Ashish, Scar, James, and Raudo. So, big shout out to all the members. If you guys want to support the channel, consider becoming a member down below. There is a link in the description where you can go ahead and look at all that fun stuff. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy today's video. Subscribe if you are new and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my Dokkan content. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.